Hi everyone. Today we're going to be making deep fried whole tilapia with a different twist. I have your fufu flour, canola oil, cayenne pepper from Liberia, nor seasoning, Larry seasoning, some other seasoning from Liberia, two of them, garlic cloves, Maggi cube, habanero peppers, and one small onion, and of course the tilapia. Let's get started. I will be chopping the onions, the peppers, and the garlic mix up with the seasonings. I'm gonna put one and a half teaspoon of nor. The first seasoning from Liberia, I will be putting two teaspoons and I will have a video on how to prepare those seasonings. Two teaspoons also of the second season. The cayenne pepper, I'm gonna put that at the last because it is very strong. Just some sprinkles of it. We're gonna start the seasoning process of the tilapia. The tilapia has been cleaned and it's wiped dry. And prior to me putting the seasoning, I'm gonna cut a little bit into the tilapia and that will be important um, in order for the different seasonings to penetrate well. And it's just little strips you have to make. And that's gonna be done on both sides. I am gonna start pouring the seasoning in. And I'll be using my hands. Make sure you have cooking gloves because the seasoning are spicy. And I'm gonna put them all in between the different slits as well as in the fish. And I'm gonna do the same with the second fish because you wanna make sure you have that seasoning in all the various openings. The tilapia, I'm gonna let it reserve for 30 minutes to an hour. Depending on how many tilapias you're fixing, uh, you might want to reserve it for longer. Um, but in this case, it's just two pieces. So I'm going to reserve for like 30 minutes.
The fish has reserved for 30 minutes and I'm gonna be coating the fish with plantain fufu flour. You can use any type of flour if you want and you don't have to coat your fish. I will be doing it with this one. And already um, the fufu mix is in a pan. I have a little bit of it. And I'm gonna be adding black pepper, onion powder, granular garlic, a little bit of lari's. And remember I told you about my seasoning from Liberia. I'm gonna be adding that as well and mix it up. And I'm going to give that a good stir. And I'm going to take one of the pieces of the fish. And throw it at it. You just want to put a little bit, you don't want to put too much because you don't want your batter to be that thick. I'm going to add a little more just in case. And I forgot to mention, um, I did put cayenne pepper in the batter at the beginning. It's very strong, so usually <laughs> I don't put it on when I'm on camera because it is going to make me sneeze. It's very, very hot. The tilapia is battered and we're going to be moving to the deep frying process. Um, your oil should be at least minimum 300 um, depending on how hard you like your fish fry. Some people will keep it at 250. Um, I like mine fried very hard. Um, so it's going to be around 300 for the temperature. We'll check the temperature of the oil. Hopefully it's around close to 300. Okay, 329, that's a little bit high, but we're gonna keep it on low. I've moved the temperature of the stove from low to high, it's like around um, seven. Alrighty. Let's 
in and check them in. And it's ready to turn the fish over. And yeah. That looks brown and nice. Really nice. And like I mentioned, you don't have to mix your fish that hard. Um, I like my really deep fry. And we're gonna give it like around four to five more minutes. And that should be all set. So it took like close to between 13 to 15 minutes. Okay, seems to be ready. And I'm gonna let it drain there. We are gonna move on to the second one. Again, the same process. It is ready. The tilapia is deep fried crispy and of course it's going to be crunchy once you chew on it. The deep fried tilapia can be served with Obe sauce, hot sauce, the ghost hot sauce, and I also have some authentic Liberian fried pepper. The tilapia is being served and I'm going to have it with a side of fried plantain and some salad. So let's give it a try. You can hear how crunchy it is already. Mmm. Yummy. I do have a video on how to make fried plantain, so watch out for that. And when you're eating your tilapia, be careful with the bones because it is a bony fish, especially when you're eating it whole. And I'm gonna try it with some hot Liberian fried pepper. Oops. It is very spicy. I hope you do try this recipe because it is delicious. Please subscribe to my channel. It is free. Click on like. I would love to hear from you, so please comment. Helpful ones are greatly appreciated. Share with family and friends and hit the notification bell to be the first to know when I drop my next video. Without further ado, thanks and let's get cooking.